everyone, I hope you're already well. So today I wanted to do a secondhand clothing haul. As much as I love shopping in all the normal shops, charity shops and vintage shops are also some of my favourites. I thought it would be nice to show you guys some of the things I pick up from these sort of charity shops and then also some items that I'm going to edit a bit. So yeah, I'm going to get straight on and show you guys everything I've got. So I'm going to start off with my favourite vintage find. I picked this up when I went to a flea market near my grandma's. Um, I think flea markets um, are probably advertised online so you can see if there's one near you or one close-ish. Um, but they basically have loads of different sellers and just it's mainly lots of like little antique things but um, there was a little clothing stall as well and I found this really gorgeous I think she said it was 1940s um, nighty and it's like full length and I thought this would be so cool like styled over other dresses the cut is so beautiful and the fabric is just gorgeous initially I saw it for the fabric and then I saw like how pretty it was and I was just like I cannot <laughs> cut that up <laughs> and this was 12 pounds so pretty decent for such an old beautiful nighty. From the same flea market I picked up some vintage fabric. I think there's about three meters here which is quite a decent amount so I could make a dress out of this. I can't remember how much this was but it's she said it's vintage Liberty wool and it feels so soft and I'm just really excited to make something out of this. From the same lady I picked up this kind of love-hate fabric, it's like curtain fabric, but I just kind of fell in love with the print on it, with the little bows and all the floral stuff, but um, I know pretty much all of you are going to be going, what is that? <laughs> but at the moment I'm using it to make a little bag, so this bag is in my little collection that we're doing. Um, it's got a big, a big ass bow on it. This is with the fabric turned around the other way, so it's inside out. Um, so it's not quite as um, bright and then the rest of the bag looks like this and I'm gonna attach it all together so we'll see how that goes so that is everything I picked up at the flea market and now I'm going to go on to charity shops so all of this stuff is either from a charity shop or a jumble sale I did go to a little village jumble sale and they had so many clothes just laid out everywhere and you could fill up a black bag for two pounds um, so I just thought it was such a good idea, such a great way to sell on clothes um, quickly. So I picked up quite a few items, some of them I'm not going to show because they're mainly just fabric and like reusing garments and upcycling. This is the first little shirt I got at the jumble sale. It's super cute, it's got little tiny um, shoulder pads um, and I thought if I didn't wear it with the shoulder pads I can reuse the shoulder pads in something else that I might make. And I also love the colour, I just think it's so nice and it's got little embroidery all over it. Also from the jumble sale I found this little cardigan which has a really like loose open knit um, in this really gorgeous chevron and this looks so good like done up over like turtlenecks or like high necked um, tops. So yeah, I always love little cardigans like this. Then another cardigan from the Jumble Sale. This one is in this really gorgeous sort of teal turquoisey shade. When I'm shopping in like Jumble Sales and charity shops, I always like look for interesting textures or interesting colours and that's generally how I find the things I like. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't worn this one yet, um, but I'm sure I will. Soon. This is probably the item I've worn the most recently. It's this little zip up cardigan and I just love the little collar on it. I think it's so cute. Um, it's really interesting to have a collar on cardigans now. I just feel like you wouldn't find this in a normal shop so it's really got that like cute vintage feel and then you can pair it with things that aren't vintage and it just gives a really interesting look. So yeah, I love this so much and it's now contributing to my ever-growing pile of cream jumpers and cardigans. Then the final thing from the jumble sale that I have to show you is this little embroidered um, shirt. <laughs> I just thought the embroidery was really cute 
and um, it stops at a really nice length because it's for petite. Um, it kind of has a, a really nice cut off point. And the darts in the back make it fit really nicely. Um, so yeah, it's just a lovely little piece. It's quite synthetic y, so it's a little bit sweaty, but it's also quite good for winter because it means it's quite warm. And it looks really cute tucked in to like flared jeans or um, like a little skirt, maybe. Now, I have a few things from the charity shop. First one is this shirt which also has embroidery on it. I'm a sucker for like embroidery on shirts and blouses. Um, this is so soft and I was mainly drawn to the color because this is like my favorite color at the moment. And I thought if I don't wear it as a shirt, I can transform it into something that I would wear like a little blouse maybe or something, I don't know. But I think I'll wear it as a shirt because I think it's quite nice. Also from a charity shop, I found this gorgeous Liberty print shirt. I think it's such an amazing blue. It's not my favorite sort of cut it's, I would love if this was a little bit more oversized um, Or a little bit more fitted so I could maybe tailor it put a few darts in and make it nice um, But this was Liberty for Uniqlo so Not actual Liberty really, but I just thought the print and the colors were just so gorgeous that had to pick it up. And then the final thing from the charity shop is this little Zara um, shirt, blouse, which has this really interesting ruffle sort of collar down it. And I thought this would be so great for summer. Um, that's the other thing with shopping in charity shops, it's sometimes good to not always just think about the season you're in. But yeah, I love this. I haven't actually worn it yet, so I don't really know what I'm going to style this with, but really cute it's got little puff sleeves and everything so yeah. and then this coat you guys have all seen before but I just wanted to share this as like a reason why you should all go charity shop shopping <laughs> this I have worn in some of my vlogs but it's like my favorite coat ever and often in charity shops they'll do like a one pound rail to get rid of stuff and this was one pound so it's my one pound coat and I love it. So there we have it, that is the end of my second hand vintage charity shop haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope it has inspired you to go into some charity shops or little vintage shops or even online on Depop and think about where you're shopping a bit more. With fast fashion it's so easy to just constantly be buying cheap and a lot of it but it's so nice to have pieces that have a little bit of history, a little bit of interest about them so yeah and it's also fun like going charity shop shopping because you never know what you're gonna get or never know what you're gonna find and sometimes I find nothing and sometimes I find loads of things so yeah but anyway I hope you enjoy charity shop shopping if you do go out after this video and do some I really hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one bye